perfect timing as always, Miss Walker. Here's your non-fat double cap. Thank you, George. A little to the left. Good. Hey, Jen. Hi. You need a blowout? Uh, Tanya, I can't. I have to get ready for a meeting at corporate. How about later? Mm -hmm. Good luck. Okay. Thank you. I can hear the bells ringing. Don't you just love Christmas? The only thing I love about Christmas is the fact that we're about to make a third of our yearly sales in six weeks. Every year around the holidays, you put on this Grinch routine. But deep down, I know you are just a big softy who loves Santa and babies and rainbows. Admit it. You watch too many Christmas movies. Are those the QED reports? Yeah. Hmm. It's not straight. Oh, I thought it reminded me of my ex-boyfriend. Hey, Jen, what do you think? Does it look good on me? You better hurry up. We open in five minutes. Oh, I am loving the whole illusion today. We'll put that together for you. Hmm. You guys did. Oh, look, she's even wearing those cute little black heels we picked out for at the 75% off sale. You have five minutes. Today, the official countdown begins. 35% of our annual retail profits are to be earned over the next six weeks. Now, is my team prepared? Yes, sir. Hmm? Are you ready? Yes, sir. Yeah? Well, so's the competition. Last year, our holiday sales showed a 12% decline. Yet internet sales rose 35%. So how can Hillridge Malls compete? in this overcrowded market. Incentivize customers to come to us, sir. Exactly right, Ms. Walker. And here's the incentive I'm offering to each of you today. I'm creating a new position. Vice President of Marketing and Promotions, overseeing all the malls in the Northeast. Person with the greatest increase in sales by Christmas Eve wins the promotion. The losers get nothing. You'd be lucky to keep your jobs. Good luck. By the new year, you're gonna be working here at corporate with me, where you belong. You heard? I'm the VP of strategic planning. I know everything that goes on around here. Finally, a chance for you to get out of that vacant dump. It's not a dump. I know. But it's not the suburbs either. How can I compete with them? Well, you do have the lowest numbers in the group at the moment, but uh, that just means you got nowhere to go but up. Hey. I have faith in you. You can do this. A move to corporate by Christmas would be amazing. And a year earlier than I'd hoped. Do you mind if I take a rain check on our date tonight? I just really want to focus on this competition. Hey, Jen, you never have to explain a work obligation to me. That's why I love you. If I get this promotion on Christmas Eve, I'll be a year ahead of schedule. Yeah, well, I'm already a year ahead of schedule to eat my weight in Cinnabons, so... We'll both have something to celebrate. Mm, I've got a ways to go before I can celebrate. I've got those sharks from the suburbs breathing down my neck. How can South Boston compete with the ladies that lunch in Hartford? Especially when our working class has been hit so hard. I know. Remember when all the rides were full? I also remember you throwing up on Jake Donovan when you downed one of those ginormous banana splits from the food court. I thought that one was in the vault, Missy. <laughs> I need something that makes South Boston Mall a destination for holiday shopping, you know? Something that inspires people to come to the mall from all over the city, maybe even the suburbs. Something that makes people want to open their wallets and spend their hard-earned money. Ooh. <laughs> Isn't it a little early for that? Oh, it's never too early in the day to start looking at hot men. I mean, the holiday sale. We haven't even put up Santa's Village yet. Well, clearly it's working.
check out the merchandise? Yes. Yeah. To help you out. Hello there. Hi, ma'am. Have you seen our new line of sequin party dresses? This one is only $129.99. Well, I will take three. <laughs> uh, you know what? She's fine. Thank you. Three? And he called you ma'am. He can call me whatever he wants. <laughs> Guess it's true what they say. Sex really... Su majority of holiday shopping is done by women, right? So let me ask you, what do stay-at-home moms, 20-something career girls, and desperate housewives all want to unwrap for Christmas? Anybody? <clears throat> I present to you, South Boston Mall's Search for Sexy Santa. <laughs> Now, the auditions alone will generate all sorts of press. We'll have a panel choose the top three, and the audience will get to crown their own Santa. Okay, like American Idol, but with hot dudes. Exactly. The winner will get $10,000, half up front, and half at the end of business day on Christmas Eve. He'll do a whole dance number, followed by photographs and a sit down on his lap. Mm. Who can resist that, right? <laughs> Oh, you're in your uniform. Well, didn't you call me in here because you want to get the jump on the holidays? <laughs> Smart move, Jen. Actually, Jim, I, I called you in here because I have to let you go. What are you talking about? Look, I've been Santa at South Boston Mall for 17 years. I I'm a tradition. I know. But we're going in a different direction this year. HR has a severance package waiting for you, okay? Sorry. That was so sad. Like you fired my dad or something. Don't look at me like that. I mean, I feel bad, too, but I... I am not gonna get anywhere being everyone's BFF. You'll see. This job isn't as easy as you think. No, I know, I know. I got stuck in the car this morning. What are you gonna eat? 50, guys. Okay, I'll be right there. What are you gonna eat? Yeah, I'm coming. Hi, uh, sorry, Miss Walkett. I uh, got cold, but I'll make you a new one. Okay, thanks, George. Hey, there's a line. There is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. man, you tell her. Yeah, I, I know. I'm sorry. I'm just late for work. Yeah, work's a grind. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But we all got some place we need to be. Right. You know, I think what I'm late for is a little more important than your bike messenger delivery thing. Well, well, number one, I'm not a bike messenger. And number two, I didn't think you Beacon Hill princesses came down here. So. And what makes you think I'm from Beacon Hill? The outfit. And the attitude. Well, genius, I'm actually from the neighborhood. Born and bred. Could have fooled me. You know, I don't think that would be a very difficult thing to do. Uh, are you always such a little sweetheart in the morning? Only when confronted with jerks like yourself. Oh, that hurt. That stung. <laughs> I can't believe I am actually at work today. There are so many hot men. <laughs> okay, so guys, we have one camera crew. Thanks to our guest panelist, TV host Christine Mayweather. Oh, yeah, girl. Remember, we're looking for someone who has the sex appeal of Brad Pitt and someone who has the spirit of Santa Claus. Okay, guys, you'll have 60 seconds to show us you have the looks and the personality to be South Boston Mall's new sexy Santa. Now, remember, only three of you will make it to the final round, so you have to give a great first impression. 
and good luck. David Moretti. Hi. Why are you here today? Uh, I know it's not manly to say this, but um, I love Christmas. And uh, my mom used to make it very special for us as kids. She's, um, she's no longer with us, but uh, I know she would get a huge kick out of this competition. Thank you. No. Um, hang on. It's not finished. Yeah. Go on, David. Well, uh, we used to watch a dancing show together, and uh, I memorized a routine. And I was going to do a solo, but can I, can I borrow her? Yeah, go ahead. Jeez. <laughs> Just uh, follow my lead. He's so cute. <laughs> Okay, but what do you think about this guy? Yes. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. And uh, what about oh. dumb but hot? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Personally, I prefer the juice head over the pretty boy. Let's just put a uh, male model to a vote. All in favor? No. Oh, yeah. Mm, sorry, Blue Steel. Okay, this guy, Moretti, total poser, right? What are you talking about? He's perfect. Are you kidding me? Using your dead mother to gain points. Totally tacky. I think he is a tasty morsel. Mm -hmm. Total man candy. Mm -hmm. This guy? Okay, uh, are we talking about the same guy here? Good night. Oh, Brittany, come here. What do you think of this one? Oh, you mean my future husband? See? Look, hello. If you change your vote on David, I will vote yes on your juice head. No, no, you uh, can't do that. Yes, she can. How badly do you want the model guy in the top three? Bam. Exactly. So let's just say Smooth and Metro are in, but the third position, let's not fight over it. Let's put it to a secret ballot, oh. shall we? Just vote your conscience. Hey. What are you still doing here? Bike locks, frozen. Ever heard of public transportation? I like the freedom my bike gives me. Oh, yeah, it looks, uh, really freeing. I feel like, uh, we kind of got off on the wrong foot. Understatement of the century. I hope you can be fair in there. Fair? Listen, despite what you might think, I am a total professional who makes impartial judgments based on true merit. If you didn't make the cut, you only have yourself to blame. So I didn't make the cut. I don't know. I haven't looked at the ballots yet. I'll be calling the finalists later tonight. Have a Merry Christmas, Miss Walker. You ladies be halfway through your game of cutthroat poker by now. But then we would have missed the show. What are you talking about? <laughs> you weren't supposed to see that. <laughs> Hello, brother. Hello. Looks like all those tap classes Mom made you take finally paid off. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Ham, Canadian bacon. What's the difference? Nice of you to finally join us. Uh, hey, Dad hasn't seen this, has he? You flaunting your lame moves for all of Boston? <laughs> Still not funny. David. I guess he has. Hey, Dad, I'm uh, late again. Take over for your brother before he scares away all the customers. About the auditions. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to hear about it. Okay. I don't want to see it. All I want to see is you helping out here when you're not going to school or studying. Okay? Okay. Come on. Yeah. Two colas. Yeah. He's not in a good mood. Yeah, well, he hasn't been in a good mood since the city council's decision let the Death Star put us out of business. So that's why you did it? Did what? The Santa thing. I heard the prize is ten grand, which is about what the lawyer said the appeal would cost. Desperate times. Dad's put everything he has into fighting this thing. Just don't get his hopes up, okay? He's already resigned to having to close this place down on Christmas Eve. Well, I don't think I made it past the first round, so there you go. Good, because the sooner we can all accept that this place is closing, the sooner Dad can deal with it. David, do you remember how hard it was for him to move on after Mom died? And losing more readies is like losing another family member. Yeah. Yo. Yo. That's how you answer your phone? Is this Jennifer Walker? Yes, I'm calling to let you know you made it to the choreography round, after which I'll be crowning the Santa based on our audience votes. Really? Tomorrow, 4 o'clock. Please don't be late. Oh, uh, tomorrow? I'm sorry, is that a problem for you, Mr. Moretti? No. I'll be there with my tap shoes on. Yes, three of our hottest contestants in this round. Y you did see the news. Fantastic. Yes, um, David Moretti did make the cut. You're sending a reporter. Um, that's fantastic. I will save you a prime spot. Where is he? Of you and you're worried about the time? Where the hell is David Moretti? Oh, he called and said he might be a few minutes late. I can't stand lateness. If he's not here in two minutes, he's cut. Jen, David is the reason all of these people came out. You can't do that. Yeah? Watch me. Wow, you are so cold. But you know what? It's kind of hot. Like a corporate dominatrix. <sighs> Neil, what are you doing here? Well, Mr. Hillridge said he couldn't make it, so I decided to be his eyes and ears. That's sweet. Hey, are you still getting your hair cut at the mall? I thought I asked you to go to that, that Kristoff guy in Beacon Hill. He's really good. I just haven't had time. Hi, Neil. Marissa, I, I didn't even recognize you underneath the uh, poof. <laughs> it's so funny. Wow, look at that. Quite a crowd, huh? I know. I can't believe the publicity we're getting. I can. You're a marketing genius. Here. Here. <laughs> just Here. on time. Get up there. Hey, I'm really glad you got to look past yesterday morning. No, 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 don't thank me. If it were up to me, you wouldn't be here. Well, then I'm glad it's not up to you. And now for the question and answer section. We want to know why you guys think you should be South Boston Mall's Sexy Santa. Because I'm a hunk. <laughs> With a heart. Because Boston shouldn't be deprived of this for one minute longer. My mom used to say, uh, Christmas is about family. And uh, I know a lot of families are going through a tough time right now. And to be honest, 
my family's having a hard time too. And if I can uh, be Santa and bring joy into those families' lives while helping my own, I would be more than honored to be a part of it. Thank you. Okay, people of South Boston Mall, we want you to cheer as loud as you can for the man that you want crowned. just lost his bike. But no, there it is. Mm -hmm. So what could possibly make you so upset that you're late for a second night in a row? Dad need to talk to you. Oh, you didn't win. We can all have a face like this and abs like these. Don't worry. Get you to the gym, introduce you to the twins, a little family reunion, okay? Next year. <laughs> I thought you were done with that. Yeah, Dad, we really need to talk. It's okay, I forgive you. The sooner you forget about that stupid competition, the better. Right. Huh? Mm. Focus. Focus on your studies. Right. Get your EMT training. Get into med school. Mm -hmm. Become the first doctor in the family. One, two, three, huh? Yeah. Tonight, the first ever South Boston Mall Sexy Santa was crap. I, I, I feel the around, around, around. They chose that poor sap over you? Dad, uh... The winner is... David Moretti. Yeah. Recount. I know you don't approve, but that's why I came here to tell Maybe you. Maybe it's not that I don't approve, I just don't get it. Right. I mean, I thought you were done doing crazy stuff like that. I just worry it's going to interfere with school. Well, it's only for a few weeks, and $10,000 goes a long way towards books and tuitions and stuff. I hope you didn't do this for Moretti's. David, I just spent my entire life savings trying to fight these guys all year. I don't want to see you do the same thing. Come on, take that money, put it in the bank. We can't win. Okay? Okay. 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 Hey. Hey. So you won, huh? <laughs> I did. I don't know how, but I did. Because you're gorgeous. That's why. Thank you, <laughs> sister. Guys, I don't want to get Pop's hopes up, but Moretti's has been in this family for three generations. How do we not do everything possible not to save it? You're right. We have to fight. To the bitter end? To Moretti's. To Moretti's. Hey. I really enjoyed our dance. Oh, thanks. You're, you're Brittany, right? Yeah. Oh, man, come on. I think you just hit an artery. You haven't been Santa for 24 hours, and already you're acting like a diva. I'm not being a diva. I'm just... I just need that leg. Listen, I'm gonna tell you a secret. Fashion is pain, so suck it up.
me hear your Christmas Bad. cheer. Hey, Henry, when you go to swing, you make sure you keep your front shoulder down, okay? And for the love of Pete, don't tell anyone you're a Yankees fan. Thanks, Santa. Boom, uptown. There you go. Thanks, Santa. Have a good one, man. You too. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I see you finally found someone to talk to on your level. What? Well, kids love me. I'm sure it has nothing to do with the fact that you're just a big kid yourself. Now you tell me what's wrong with being a big kid. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. <laughs> Sorry, I've just been uh, watching David wrap up a sale. Neil McCormick, VP of Strategy, Hill Ridge Enterprises. David Moretti, Santa, South Boston Mall. Well, hey, thanks for helping Jennifer make this promotion such a success. She keeps up this momentum. She'll be sure to move to corporate. Hey, are we about done here? We're gonna be late for our reservations. Oh, yeah. Um, we can probably wrap stuff up. Let's go. All right, nice to meet you. All right. Okay, so I want you to go right home. Get some rest. Mm. Tomorrow's a big night for all of us. They loved us. Oh. Come on. <laughs> you two were so good. Oh, thank you. Good work, girls. Thank you. <laughs> you huh? were amazing. <laughs> uh, uh, you should get yourself cleaned up and get out there for photographs. There's already a huge line. You got it, boss. Jennifer, you are doing a fantastic job. Mr. Hillridge would be sufficiently impressed. Really? Have you heard anything about how we're doing compared to the other malls? Well, in New Haven, they're doing a little petting zoo right inside the mall, and Grandma's hired a couple tween stars to do a concert series. But I wouldn't be too concerned about what's happening in other malls. I'd be concerned with what's happening right here. You got a ton of people in line. Isn't that a good thing? Well, at the rate he's going, that lineup's about, what, three hours long? When do we close? Three hours. 
People standing in line can't spend money. See you after work, okay? Okay. Well, it looks like somebody had a rough year. Smile. David? Just wait one little second. What? 20 seconds per customer. That's the plan. We're competing with malls with double our revenue. Right, but it's Christmas. Look at her. Exactly. We have to exceed our last year's holiday sales. People in line cannot spend money. <sighs> Santa has all the time in the world for you. So now tell me what happened to that little wing of yours. I crashed my bike on the sidewalk. Next time you're riding the bike and you get scared, think of me and I'll be watching over you. Really? Thank you, Santa. You're the best. Nah, you're the best. Get out of here. So sweet. Why would you do that? I know, I know. I'm a terrible Santa. No, one day she's gonna grow up and realize there is no Santa. I don't, I don't understand it. How does someone who's so clearly against the spirit of the holiday be in charge of promoting it? Don't take it personally, okay? Jen didn't exactly have the best home life. And it's like you said in your audition, Christmas is about family and the holiday is just a reminder of what she's missing. It's too bad. fast as I can. It's not fast enough. Are you never satisfied? I'll be satisfied when I win my promotion. Smile. I am smiling. Like you mean it. It hurts. Uh, okay, what's wrong? Sit, sit down. Sit down here. I can't breathe. Are you all right? Just rest for a second. Oh, my God. Are you okay? Senior down in Santa's okay. Village. Someone call 911. Call 911. Security's on its way. Hang on, hang on. All right, she has no pulse. Oh, my God. Come on. Come on. Oh, my God. Oh. Did I die and go to heaven? Close. You're at the South Boston Mall. An ambulance is on its way. I'm in no rush. Okay. <laughs> I had no idea you were getting your EMT certification. It's a little something called conversation. You ask me a question about my life, I ask questions about yours, and so on and so forth. Okay, great. Mrs. Clark, you're in good hands, okay? I know. You may want to do some tax for I'll help you with that Christmas shopping when you're ready. That's a promise. Where are you going? Hey, would you punch me out? Okay, I'll make up the hours tomorrow. I promise. Dr. McSexy. I think I'm in love. No, Mrs. Clark. It's Jennifer Walker, Director of Marketing and Promotions from South Boston Mall we met yesterday. Don't take it personally. She hopes everyone who comes to the door is David. <laughs> you know, he spent all night with her in the hospital. Really? Now he's all she wants to see. I don't blame her. He is one hot Santa. Yeah. Um, look, Mrs. Clark, I just wanted to make sure you were doing all right. Oh, 
Oh, it'll be a lot better when I can get out of this hospital bed and then see sexy in action. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer, what are you doing here? Do you have a sales report to obsess over or a holiday attempt to fire? Is that what you really think of me? Actually, I think you're one of the more interesting, complicated, and yes, at times, infuriating women I've ever met. Well, if you'll excuse me, I have to get back to work. Mm -hmm. Those sales reports aren't going to obsess over themselves. No, they won't. And don't be late. Mr. Hillridge himself is coming to check out the show. Hmm. Mrs. Clark kept talking about the pretty girl that came to visit her this morning. I knew we should have cut your hair. Not me, smart ass. You. I think deep down inside, you might actually be, wait for it, a nice person. There's no secret warm and fuzzy Jennifer. I see a girl that eats three meals a day here. I don't have time to go out and eat. And laughs the hardest when she's with the Jeremys. Those guys should be a stand-up routine. And loves us small. Okay, I've been working here since I was 17. Mm. Of course, I've developed relationships and routines with people, but that's just, you know, a means to an end. Admit you love it. No. I love it. Stop. Do you really want that promotion? I mean, this place isn't going to be remotely the same without you. Why do you even care? You'll be long gone. Besides, I've trained Marissa perfectly to take over when I go to corporate. No! I feel like a Christmas present. <laughs> yeah, I could see that. Just be on your best behavior, OK? And that means 20 seconds per customer. I get it. I get it. Excuse me. There we go. The line's always Good busy, sir. Ladies. Welcome. Thank you, Brittany. Have a Merry Christmas. Goodbye. Sir, I'd like you to meet David Moretti. Hey, nice say about there, David. Uh, I'm just doing what I can, sir. See, you got quite the crown. Oh, that's all part of Jen's brilliant publicity strategy. Yeah, and I make sure. They do not linger on my lap too long in order for them to get out there and spend their hard-earned money at your mall. Better be sure to keep this one happy, Jennifer. He's your golden Christmas goose. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you, David. You heard the guy. Goose. Seems like you got everything running very smoothly, Jennifer. Nice job. Does that mean we're in the running? They moved up to fourth place. That's great, right? Uh, it's a little more complicated than that. I'm afraid there's more than just a promotion on the line. What are you talking about? I've decided to close the lowest producing malls after the first of the year. And as of right now, yours is, well, in the line of fire. Sir, we've improved so much. Even if you're up 20%, you're still way behind the rest in terms of gross profit. This little promotion of yours is giving you a nice bump, but it's just a bump. Unless you come in number one, we're shutting you down. Sir Hilbert, you can't. This is strictly confidential, not to be discussed with anyone on staff. We have over 900 people working at this mall. This mall is the largest employer in the community. Couldn't we discuss this? Come in first, and there won't be anything to discuss. going to be so jealous that I'm going to be on national TV. Okay, you do know that Good Morning Boston is a regional show, right? Yeah. Okay. Where's David? Yo. Ah, good morning to you too, Miss Walker. You have to be on in 30 minutes. What is your ETA? Well, someone like their, uh... Let me guess, your bike. I could take a bus. I don't know, that'll take too long. Uh, I'll, I'll send you a car. Well, why don't you come pick me up yourself? 
Look, a taxi would be quicker. Well, you remember what Mr. Hilridge said about keeping me happy. I'll be right there. <laughs> Make me happy. Get the horse with bows of holly. Get in. See, so you had no problem finding the place. Are you kidding me? My mom and I had our first apartment right around the corner. See that place there? That is where I beat up Tommy Callahan because he wouldn't let the girls play in the street hockey game. You beat up boys? Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> I see nothing's changed. So, sexy. Tell us, what was going through your head when Mrs. Clark passed out right in front of you? Um, I wasn't really thinking. I was more reacting. And uh, when she came to, all I could think about was I didn't want her grandkids not to have her for Christmas. And Brittany. <laughs> You get to be in this guy's arms every night. You're the luckiest girl in Boston. I know. Mm. I saw you guys on opening night, and you guys have such amazing chemistry together. Does that translate off stage? Well, uh... <laughs> uh I don't kiss and tell. Uh -huh. All right. When we come back, exotic pets and the people who love them. Like reindeer. Yeah. And we're clear. <sighs> nice to meet you. Oh, pleasure. Really nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice plug, Moretti. Huh? I'll see you tonight. Wait, wait. I gotta go to. I gotta go to Moretti's. I gotta do lunch service. Why don't you ask Brittany for a ride? Because Brittany gets lost at the shoe department at Macy's. Fine. This is your place. Yes. This was my dad's favorite place. I think he even took me here once or twice. No kidding. Yeah. Well, what's his name? Maybe I served him or something. That's unlikely. He uh, he left when I was five. Well, my son, the star. He saw it. Of course, you're a local hero. Huh. Dad, uh, this is Jennifer Walker. My dad. Hi, his boss. Oh. Yeah. You poor thing. If anyone can understand how difficult a job that is, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on inside, we'll make you a pizza. Um, you know what, I can't. I have to get back to work, but thank you. You can't do anything that's not scheduled in your Blackberry? Nothing? That's... I don't take no for an answer. Come on. True, he doesn't take no for an answer. You have no choice. All right, he doesn't take no. Um, I'd love to help. I, I just need to get back to work. Come on, do something that's not planned for That is life. the woman from the mall David was complaining about. No, I believe the words he used were unlikable. Uh, uh, well, he sure seems to like her now. Okay. Hmm. What kind of pie do you like to make, huh? Um, I actually, that's sweet, but I'm okay. I don't eat pizza. It's like carbs. When I was a kid, I'd get pepperoni. Ah, purist. Mm -hmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. David, get an apron. You're gonna learn how to toss dough. Oh, no, no, no. David, I, I He's don't the have... boss, so... Okay. Let's do it. Oh. Ready? I think so. Okay. Flick the wrist, then let go. Flick the wrist and then let go. It's not too hard. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, good. See, using too much arm, not enough wrist. Gentle. Gentle.
Hey, uh, <clears throat> sorry. Pop could get Thanks. pretty persistent at times. No, don't apologize. He seems sweet. That yeah. he cares so much. Yeah. <laughs> so that must be your mom? Yes, it is. She loved Christmas. She made this giant feast mm. every year. Certainly sounds like a better Christmas than I had growing up. Chinese takeout and a bottle of wine. The wine was for my mom, not me. So is that, uh, is that the plan this year? Chinese takeout, bottle of wine with mom? Uh, yes to the Chinese takeout. No to the mom. She died when I was 17. Sorry, Jen. But, uh, nobody should spend Christmas alone. It's just another day. It's not a big deal. Are those yours? Yes, I need to study whenever I can. So you, you what, you work for your family. Mm -hmm. You go to school and you moonlight at our mall. Yeah. I had no idea you were that ambitious. Hmm. Because when you first met me, you thought I was a bike uh, messenger. So I'm not really giving you that much stock in your powers of perception. Um, what's that? That is a big corporation trying to put us out of business. Come here. To make room for that beacon of steel and glass. How can they do that? Money. That's how they got the other local merchants to give up the fight. We're the lone holdouts. But we're running out of time. So you're not closing Christmas Eve? Not if I can help it. This building's been around forever. It's, I'm trying to get a designated historical landmark. Hmm. You think that's gonna work? <laughs> oh, it's gotta work. I have just enough money for one last appeal. And the city council votes on Christmas Eve, 10 a.m. So that's why you took the Santa job? No. I did it for all the pretty girls and free meals. Ah. <laughs> Hey, listen, um, Pop doesn't know about the appeal. He's too proud to ask for help. It's very noble of you, David. It's not noble. It's family. It's what you're supposed to do. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 I forgot. I'm late. Well, Pop's just about to fire up a pizza. I'm sorry, I can't cancel this. Thank you. So... When's the wedding? Me and her? Besides, she's got a boyfriend. Some corporate bigwig. Your mom had a boyfriend when we first met. Just saying. Hey. Oh, hey. Sorry, the taping went later than I thought. Well, we only have 45 minutes for lunch now. I took the liberty of ordering you a caprese salad. Oh. I've got a meeting with the lawyers at 2. We're settling on some condos in South Carolina. I thought Hillridge only invested in commercial real estate. Well, our, our business plans adapt whenever there's some good opportunities. Hey, did, uh, did Hillridge say anything to you about shutting down the lowest producing malls? Neil. Why didn't you tell me? I'm responsible for the jobs and the lives of 900 people. I can't even imagine the effect it'll have on South Boston if we closed. It's not gonna happen. What about the, the petting zoo in New Haven or the tween concert series in Paramus? I, I can't compete with that. The petting zoo in New Haven was a PR disaster after one of the donkeys escaped. And those tweens, they had to cancel. Jen. My dear. You are gonna win that promotion. You're gonna come in number one. You're gonna get out of that dump. You're gonna work with me in corporate. It's not a dump, Neil. It's just a figure of speech. So I was thinking, um, I usually celebrate Christmas with my parents in Aspen. Why don't you come? We've been together for over a year and you've never introduced me to them. Well, they can be a little hard on newcomers, but, um, I think it's time. I have an idea. What if we do something fun and romantic for once, like a, a pizza-making course together? Just the two of us, it'll, it'll be great. Well, don't be ridiculous. I mean, Aspen is the place to be over the holidays. I don't want to upset my parents. Don't be silly. I was thinking, how's more reacting? 
But when she came through, all I could think about was, I don't want her grandkids to spend Christmas without her. Sales are up. The Santa promotion is working really well, so we're happy. Have a good night. Hey! Hey. Okay, you either had a scar face moment or you need some dandruff shampoo pronto. Oh, it's just flour from David's restaurant. What? You had lunch with David? Dish! Okay, calm down. I didn't have lunch with David. I dropped him at the pizza place and then I had lunch with Neil. Oh. Tonight was our best show yet. <laughs> Oh my God, you like him. David, please. Anyways, Neil invited me to Aspen to have Christmas with his family. Wow, Christmas with the Stepfords, how fabulous. Well, I'd love to hear you bash my boyfriend. We really need to be analyzing these numbers instead of my love life. Why, I thought we were kicking ass. I've just been going over the latest figures and it looks like we've plateaued. And I really need to keep up the traffic. Okay, well, I'm sure we'll get a bump from the television appearance today. Yes, but is he on Twitter? Is he on Facebook? We can't just keep relying on what we've done in the past. We really need to push until we're number one. You know, if we weren't best friends, I'd start to be a little offended that you're so desperate to get this promotion and get away from us. If you could just do your job, please. Yes, boss. Hey. What are you still doing here? What are you still doing here? Have the guys at Jamba Juice put this in the refrigerator. I hope you don't mind cold pizza. Are you kidding me? My mom used to work nights. Cold pizza for breakfast was a walker staple. But I can't. I know, I know, the carbs, the carbs. But think of Leo when he finds out that you threw away a perfectly good Moretti's pizza. You wouldn't. Oh, I would. I absolutely would. Yeah. And you don't want to be on the receiving end of Leo's wrath. Believe me. Fine. Mm. So this is what I've been missing out on all these years? Amongst other things, yes. I'm not that uptight, okay? I once ate an entire vat of buttercream frosting from the food court bakery on one of Marissa's dares. Shut up. And this one time, I drove the getaway car when the Jeremys decided to TP Marissa's jerky ex-boyfriend's prize Camaro. Does Hillridge realize that he has a criminal mastermind working for him? <laughs> you should smile more. Do you hear that? Hear what? That. Come on. Come on. This is what's making all the noise. How do you turn it off? I don't know. But do you want to go for a spin? I I thought Brittany was your dance partner. Brittany's a great kid. But Brittany is just a kid. You can tell me Come on. Yeah, and I'll be fine. No, no, no. This is happening. No. Come on. Neil, 
What are you doing here? Well, I heard what you said about being romantic. So I decided to come down here and whisk you away for a little midnight bite. Maybe a hard-earned drink. That sounds fantastic. Let me just go freshen up, okay? She had company. Well, we were actually just gonna go out for a bite of real food. Okay. Well, uh, tell her I'll see her tomorrow. You know what, David? You're doing a wicked job here. Thanks. In fact, I'm pretty confident that Jennifer will win that promotion to corporate, where she and I will be working side by side. Well, I hope she gets everything she wants. She will. In fact, I'm gonna ask her to move in with me at Christmas. And I'd really appreciate it if you didn't do anything to stand in our way. I would never stand in her way. It's good to hear. After all, you're nothing more than a little Christmas eye candy that everybody's gonna fill up on and get sick of as soon as Christmas is over. David? Was there something else? We were just leaving. No, no. Have a good night. Hmm. Lorraine, get me New York. Mr. Hildridge. Hi, I, I just wanted to show you our latest numbers. I'll we'll take a look at these when I get a sec. Thanks. Uh, transfer to my office, all right? Howard Lawyers will set up a numbered company and take care of all the paperwork. Thank you. Jennifer. Hi. Uh, do we have a lunch date? No, no, no. I, I just came by to drop off the newest reports. Show Mr. Hilbert how profitable our mall's becoming. Oh, great. Yeah. Was that Councilman Quinn? What was going on in there? Uh, well, I can't really talk about it. But it could elevate the whole Hillbridge brand. I gotta jump on a call right now, but, uh, I'll see you tomorrow night for date night. Okay. Okay. here every week for 30 years. You guys are like family. I can't believe you're closing Christmas Eve. Don't count us out just yet, okay? The city council's not making the final vote to the 24th. We may have a few tricks up our sleeves. Hmm? Where's boss lady tonight? How should I know? You haven't introduced a girl to the family in years. You must really like this one. I don't introduce girlfriends to you guys because you like vultures. You just like rip. See, now she's your girlfriend. No, you took what I said and you spun it around. David and Jenny sitting in a dream. K I S S I N G. <laughs> Pops, they're picking on me again. What? What's up, Pop? I just got a call from the attorney, the one you hired to file the appeal. I, uh, I can explain. It's all right. It's okay, but all that money just went down the drain. City Council denied the appeal. What do you mean? Our hearing was scheduled for the morning of Christmas Eve. They had an emergency meeting. They're not even going to hear the appeal. So they're not even going to listen to us? Dad, I'm going to go down there and I'm going to explain to them what they're doing. Son, I really appreciate what you tried to do, but it's over. It's over. Mr. 
Mr. Hillridge? Jennifer, what can I do for you? I really need to speak with you about something. I know, you want to make sure I saw your latest figures. Uh, no, actually, it's about Archfield Towers. Uh, Archfield Towers. I thought saving the jobs of 900 people at South Boston Mall was your number one priority. It was. It is. Yeah, you'd be glad to know I've looked over your reports. You've now officially moved up to second place. We have? We don't have anything else to discuss, do we? Sir. Good. Because you don't get to first by taking your eye off the ball. It's not like telling him will change anything. Well, don't you think David would like to know he's working for the very corporation he's trying to fight? If I tell David, he might quit, and that's just not acceptable when we're one week away from Christmas Eve. And when we're one spot away from being number one. I don't get you anymore, Jen. David's family is losing their livelihood, and all you stand to lose is a stupid promotion. I mean, have you really gotten that cold? It's more complicated than that, Marissa. Then let me simplify it for you, okay? Tell David before you become someone I don't know or like at all. Well, for about 10 years or so. 10 years? Let me know if you need any, like, fashion tips. I would love one. Here you go. Hey, David, have you seen uh, Jennifer? No. Who is she, and what does she do to you? Okay, thanks. If you want my advice, tell her how you feel. Before things get too weird and you enter that purgatory known as the friend zone. You know, give me a call. I absolutely will. That's fantastic. Would you like a drink? Yes, thanks. <laughs> Maybe you should take your own advice. David, what are you doing here? You have to be on in five minutes. I know, I know, but I, I just found something out today that put everything in perspective and I really do need to talk to you. Yeah, uh, I did too. There's something you should know, David. I know you have a boyfriend, and I know you're on this corporate path that probably doesn't include someone like me. Someone like you? David, anybody would be lucky to have someone like you. They denied our request for an appeal. What? I thought they weren't voting until Christmas Eve. Councilman Quinn ordered, like, an emergency meeting today. Councilman Quinn? They didn't even let us argue our case, and then I, I couldn't go through life if, if I didn't do the same for you. David, I need to... Jen, you have to admit you felt something when we kissed. I know I felt it. I felt it like a ton of bricks. I mean, I've never, ever met anyone who excites me or, or frustrates me as much as you do. I want to give this a shot. But I don't know how to tell you this. Hillridge is behind Archfield Towers. He's the reason your family is going out of business. Wait, wait, what? I'm sorry. But, but you know Hillridge. He, you could talk to him, right? I can't. My hands are tied. <laughs> he knew about this all along. No. I introduced you to my family. How could you do that? You don't understand. You know what? You're right. I don't understand. I don't understand anything about you. I quit. You can't. Really? Watch me. No. It's in your contract. Hillridge will sue you if you walk out voluntarily. You'll lose everything. I already have. It's like watching one of those creepy robotic Santas in the department store windows. No, I've never seen David this crush before. Trust me, I tried when I first met him. Well, at least you can sleep easy knowing that you did the right thing by telling him. 
Orso, what's the point? I mean, we're so different, it'll never work. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you. Oh. <laughs> it's so sad. Like the last day of camp. Oh, Tom, Tom. I'll see you around the neighborhood. Hey, and don't forget about those community college classes we talked about. I won't. Underneath her tough exterior, Jen really does have a heart. I know, but it's buried pretty deep. Hey, hear her out. It's not as bad as it seems. And besides, it's Christmas, and everyone deserves a little charity at Christmas. Yeah, but Jen doesn't believe in Christmas. <laughs> Remember? Marissa said, uh, come get my check from you. You were worth every penny. Glad I could help advance corporate greed. That's not what I meant. David. I hope you have a Merry Christmas. I hope when you get everything you want, that it was all worth it. Me too. here my entire life. I'm gonna look forward not coming home at night covered in flour. <laughs> I feel like they've taken our Christmas. Oh, come on, man. No, no, no. Come on, what did Mama always say? Hmm? Huh? Christmas, Christmas isn't, isn't about, about gifts. gifts. It's about, about family. And nobody can take that away from us, okay? So instead of dwelling on all we lost this year, let's count our blessings on all we still have, huh? Beautiful, healthy family. Another baby on the way. <laughs> you okay? I just... I just don't understand how Hillridge could take Moretti's away from us and to not even give it a second thought. And to think that I was part of that machine. Well, you couldn't have known anything about it. Don't beat yourself up over it. Well, is that the only thing bothering you? Jennifer. Hmm. You told me she said she didn't know anything about it and that she was brutally honest in the past. Why would she lie about this now? Because people say things to get what they want. Mm. I find it hard to believe that it's all about the bottom line for her. You know, Jennifer may have a tough exterior, but I thought she was a real sweetheart. Jennifer Walker. Jennifer. Mr. Hillridge. Did I catch you at a bad time? Uh, no, this is the perfect time. I've just finished going over the numbers. You really outdone yourself, Jennifer. Your holiday revenue is up 25%. I don't know how you did it. Wait, does this... Congratulations, yes. You are my new VP of marketing. Next year, you'll be working with me at corporate. You're kidding. We're number one? Yes. 
Uh, there's just one more thing. I'm gonna need you to spearhead the closing of the mall first. Excuse me? Don't worry, HR will be in touch about setting up exit interviews. Wait, Mr. Hilward, you said that if, if we came in number one, the mall would be safe. Those numbers aren't sustainable. Not without Christmas. Not without our Santa. Look, Mr. Hilwich, these are good people. They need their jobs. We will do a final inventory January 31st before making the announcement. We gotta keep everyone on their toes. No, oh, sir, please, just... Look, don't let this overshadow what you've accomplished, Jennifer. You've given yourself the best Christmas present possible. We'll celebrate at the party tonight. See you then. Merry Christmas to me. Is that Kate? She's getting so big. Eight years old, can you believe it? She made me take her to see Santa about five times. I think she's starting to discover boys. Heaven help me. Hey, Jen. Congratulations on the promotion. <laughs> we hate to see you go, but what an exciting Christmas surprise. Um, I hope you don't mind, but, um, David invited us to the Moretti closing party tonight. Oh, um, no, go, please, by all means. I mean, I, have fun. I have to stay with the suits all night. Listen, we know you already have on that boring black dress, <laughs> but now that you're the VP of marketing, we thought you should have something with a little more fab factor. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> God, that's gorgeous, but... <laughs> What's wrong? I'm, I'm just really gonna miss you guys. Oh, Jen. We're family. And hey, even though you're moving downtown does not mean you can't come here and help me kill a dozen Cinnabon every now and then. <laughs> Promise? Yeah. Come here. Love and love. Oh, group hug. What group hug. <laughs> Christmas candles lose their glow. Where's the spirit of the season celebrated long ago? Why can't there be a Christmas carol sung in your heart the whole year through? Christmas. Welcome to the party. Is that the Grinch or Jennifer Walker trying to sneak by Santa? I don't. I guess I deserve that, huh? If it uh, means anything, I feel really bad about how I treated you. I appreciate that. I uh, miss all my old friends at the mall. But hey, I uh, hear congratulations are in order. Looks like you got everything you wanted for Christmas. Thanks, Jim. I've been trying to call you all day. Where have you been? Congratulations. Hey, 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 hey. You got what you always wanted, a promotion to corporate. Why aren't you celebrating? They're closing the mall, Neil. How can I celebrate knowing the people that helped me get my promotion will be out of jobs by the new year? It's collateral damage. Don't worry, they'll find something else. You knew? I know everything that happens at Elridge. Come on, babe, be happy. Besides, you're not the only one celebrating a promotion. Really? You are looking at the new senior VP of strategy. Hill Ridge rewards resourcefulness. Resourcefulness? Mm-hmm. Is that what you call brokering deals with corrupt politicians? 
Hillridge would never invest in residential real estate. You bribed the councilman, didn't you? We needed him to kill the Merchant's Appeal in order to push the Archfield Towers development through, yeah. Jen, we both did what we had to do to get our promotion. Don't look at me like that. Well, maybe I don't like what I see anymore. I guess you call that collateral damage. Welcome, everyone, to Hillridge Enterprises' annual executive holiday gathering. But my first order of business tonight is to congratulate our newest vice president, Jennifer Walker. She's a longtime employee, having started out here as a floater at the age of 17. And her victory was made possible by a brilliant rebranding of our holiday business model with the success of her South Boston Santa. Jennifer, a few words. Christmas was nothing more to me than one of the biggest retail opportunities of the year. But as someone very wise said, Christmas isn't about sales reports or profits. It's about family. And since I really have none to speak of, the people of South Boston Mall have become my family. And collateral damage or not, I can't just sit back and celebrate the destruction of that family. Sorry, I can't do this. Jennifer. Jennifer. Do you have any idea what you're doing? You close South Boston Mall, and I'll go public with your backroom deals. You don't want to play that game with me. You should be proud, sir. I learn from the best. And while you're at it, find a new home for Archfield Towers. Doesn't fit in the neighborhood. Merry Christmas. Jennifer? Are you okay? Yeah. No, I, I can't get a cab, and I have to get to Old Town before Christmas Eve is over. Well, hold on. I'll help you. Why would you help me? I, I probably ruined your Christmas. You can't ruin my Christmas. Christmas is about family, remember? Merry Christmas. Ready, pizza? Hi there. <laughs> you must be David's brother. Yes, younger and sexier. You know, next year I will be in charge of hiring Sexy Santa. So, if you want to give me a little preview of what you got going on in there. I don't think you can handle what I got going on in here. Oh, is that right? <laughs> that one. My mom's making me a Christmas tofurkey tomorrow. You want to come by? I'll bring the soy eggnog. You read my mind. Very much think alike. Oh, and then... I think about the day, the first time that we kissed. Hey, big guy. I um got an early Christmas present for you. And you don't need to thank me. So I want you to take this, and I want you to put this towards opening Moretti's in a new location. <laughs> I've had a good run, son. Don't worry about your old man. I lived through a lot worse, and I'm still here. 
keep it. And you put it down as down payment for med school. <laughs> it's what your mom would have wanted. Well, it's almost midnight. Wanna help me take down the Moretti sign? Thought it uh, might look nice hanging over the couch. Lost so much lately, I don't. I don't think I could dismantle the place. Sorry, Pop. are more important than what's listed on your 10-year plan. Marissa, I'm sorry I've been such a bad friend these past few months. Hey, we're best friends. Forget it. Come here. <laughs> Where's David? He went home. So should you. Don't mind him. You want David? Yeah. Follow me. There he is. What are you doing here? I turned down the promotion. Why? I honestly didn't know that Hillridge was behind Archfield Towers until recently, but I should have told you immediately. I know, but I didn't want to make the same mistake again. So when I found out that Hillridge bribed Councilman Quinn with a, a condo in South Carolina, I told him he wasn't going to get away with it. You did all this for Moretti's? I did it because it's the right thing to do. Uh, and I did it for you. What was that? Um, could you just let me speak or I'll never get this out, okay? We got off on the wrong foot. The wrong planet, actually. Um, but you bring out something in me that I have never felt before. I used to think that Christmas was just another day. I don't want to spend another Christmas alone at home. I want to spend it with family. I want to spend it with you. Okay, you can speak now. Stop telling me what to do. Stop packing. Stop packing. Stop packing. Stop. Packing. David, what's going on? Well, thanks to Jen, we are saving more readies. Yeah. How can that be? We'll explain everything. All right, grab that. Okay. On three. One, two, three. <laughs> so I have a question. Hmm. Now that I've saved the restaurant, does that mean I get to cut to the front of the pizza line? Merry Christmas, Jennifer. Merry Christmas, Santa.